All right, on a different note tonight, activists in Prince George's County, they want to clean house in the police department after the public release of a report claiming racial discrimination. It's one of five demands these activists and plaintiffs in a lawsuit against the county are making tonight. Our Jess Arnold joins us live from police headquarters with much more on their demands. Hey, Jess. Hey, Lorenzo. Yeah, now the overarching theme of those demands is accountability, starting with replacing the leadership at the department. Now, this is in response to this Graham report that was commissioned by the plaintiffs in a racial discrimination suit filed by a group of officers against the county. And many we heard from today said that the report speaks for itself. William Green is a victim of everything within this Graham report. He's a victim of all the demands. He's a victim. If any of these things would have been addressed, he would probably be here today. Nikki Owens' cousin, William Green, was shot to death by Prince George's County Police Officer Corporal Michael Owens last year. Owens was later charged with murder, and the family reached a $20 million settlement with the county. Now, she's part of a group of advocates demanding five changes to the police department, including new leadership, community involvement in addressing complaints against police, and firing officers with records of abuse of black and brown community members. We're fighting and struggling for a community control of the police. That's what we have to have here. This comes after the Graham report, named for the retired L.A. Sheriff's deputy who investigates police departments across the country and commissioned by a group of black and Latino officers suing the county over alleged systemic racial discrimination, revealed similar findings. The scope was 2016 to 2019. Some highlights. Graham calls the department's policies for handling racial harassment and discrimination complaints from officers and citizens inadequate. That misconduct allegations are treated differently when charges are made against white officers, at times even resulting in counter charges against the officer of color who complained, and that leadership appears to have made a deliberate choice not to track or monitor its performance concerning these matters. It also said of the nearly 7,000 reported uses of force, 94% involved a minority civilian. This is not something that's new. It's something that has been ongoing for a very long time. In response to the report and demands, County Attorney Rhonda Weaver sent us a statement that reads in part, based on the facts, the county believes that there was not a policy or custom of discrimination within the department and that the report failed to review or consider essential documents, misstates key facts and dates, takes statements and events out of context, and relies solely on the allegations of some disgruntled and discredited officers. Community activists, however, say this report is evidence of systemic issues they've been complaining about for years, and they're asking lawmakers to finally act on their concerns. Now, the county attorney said the county is working to implement the nearly 50 changes suggested by the police reform work group, and these activists want their demands added to that list. And there is a lot more to that report. We'll delve more into it online at WUSA9.com. Live in Landover, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9. Yeah, we'll see if county leaders will listen. All right, Jess, thank you.